Good morning and welcome to another study skills session. Today we're going to continue looking at self-quizzing. Equipment check, you need your homework book, you need your knowledge organiser, obviously year seven or year eight you'll have your own ones. You'll need a pen, a ruler and I've added this in an additional colour pen so that you can check your work and see if it is correct. Again, I need to check Bromcom just to make sure that I'm looking at the correct part of my knowledge organiser. So I'm going to stick with English for this example. My teachers asked me to look at Freytag's pyramid last time. Now they want me to look at this bit underneath it, which explains what all the different terms are doing. So, just like I did last time, I'm going to take my pencil and just draw a big circle around it so that I remember this is the only bit that I need to look at and that I need to learn for my homework tonight. Now, we've looked at how to work with keywords before, where you might just look at one keyword at a time and look, cover, write, check and then put it in your own sentence. That's a really good method, but because I've only got 15 minutes to do my homework for English tonight and I've got to learn all of these key words, I'm going to do a slightly quicker method. What that means is I'm going to cover up the explanations and I'm going to copy these terms into my book with space next to them so that I can write out what I think the explanation is using just my memory. So this is a look, cover, write, check only method that we call self-quizzing. I've set up my page just like I've done before, making sure that I put the, the subject that I'm looking at, so English. And then I'm still looking at Freytag's Pyramid just like I was before, but this time I'm doing a different task, so I've just put two. Then I've got my date, underlined with a ruler so it looks super duper neat and beautiful. Next is for me to have a quick look at these terms and to copy them into my book. Now remember, I'm just writing the term and not the explanation because the explanation is the bit that I need to try and learn off by heart and write down from memory. So I'm going to write down my terms now. I'm going to leave a line between each one in case I need a bit of space. I've written out all of my key terms. Now I am ready to see if I can remember what the explanations are. Before I do that, I might just give them another read. When I feel confident, now I can start quizzing myself. So I'm gonna put my knowledge organizer away and see what I can remember. So here you can see that I've had a go, I've written out what I can remember from memory, and now I'm going to use my red pen to double check how accurate I've been and see if I've missed anything out. Now it doesn't matter if I haven't remembered it exactly word for word perfect, but here exposition is where the writer sets the scene and atmosphere of a narrative, this could include the weather, so let's see what I put. I put where a writer sets the scene and atmosphere. So I've used both of those words, scene and atmosphere, but I've missed off the bit about the weather, so I'm going to add that on. Okay, so I can still give myself a tick, I got that right, but I've added in additional information. So I'm going to go through the rest of my answers. I obviously couldn't remember what climax was, so I'm going to see if I can 
um, add in the correct definition for that as well by looking back at my knowledge organiser where all of the answers are. So here's what I've been left with after all of my efforts. I've gone through all of the different keywords just to make sure I'm correct. And here is my final piece of homework. I forgot a few details and I forgot one of the keywords. So I've added that bit, those bits of information in and I've marked it where I've got information correct. And that is my homework done. Now it should be wedged much more firmly in my memory so that when my teacher does the do now, if they ask me what rising action is, I should be able to talk about where there's tension used with lots of little events before the main action in a story. And then I will learn how to write my story properly. So all of this helps us build our memory, helps us understand the important information in every single subject that we learn so that we can be really super duper successful.